Whether it's Ricardo Carvalho in 2016, or Arnold Moran in 1988, the European Championship has often been a tournament of golden oldies, seasoned professionals, and fossilised footballers. Yes, it seems experience can be key when it comes to the major international trophies, with older, more experienced heads sometimes required to cope with the intensity and pressure that comes with playing in a month-long festival of elite-level football. So in today's video, I thought I'd take a look at the oldest player in each of the 24 Euro 2020 squads and where those players were seven years ago to the day. You know, because it's HITC7s. It's kind of a vibe. The oldest player at the tournament is 38 years old, making them comfortably twice the age of the youngest player at the finals, 17-year-old Poland midfielder Kacper Kozlowski. Who is the oldest player at the finals, I hear you ask? Well, you'll just have to watch my wonderfully curated video to find out, but see if you can guess the oldest goalkeeper and outfield player before we begin. There's 5 points going if you can guess either of them, or 15 points if you can get both. Redeemable as a cash reward from fine stores absolutely nowhere. Here is the oldest player in every Euro 2020 squad. Where were they 7 years ago? Italy. Giorgio Chiellini. Juventus. Italy's oldest player ever since Gianluigi Buffon's departure from the international stage has been the comparative young whippersnapper of Giorgio Chiellini, who is 36 years of age. Among the oldest players at the finals, Chiellini is Italy's seventh most capped footballer of all time, and he is the only member of the Italy Euro 2020 squad who was a full international when Italy won the World Cup back in 2006. Though, Despite winning his first cap in 2005, Chiellini wasn't actually part of that World Cup winning squad. Now capped 107 times by the Azzurri, seven years ago Chiellini was of course still playing for Juventus. In fact, you could double that figure and ask where Giorgio Chiellini was 14 years ago and the answer would still be at Juventus. The crooked-nosed Pisa native, who is a master in the fine art of defending on the front foot, has made a remarkable 535 appearances for the old lady since signing for the club in 2005. Switzerland. Jan Sommer. Basel. Jan Sommer is pretty young as far as oldest players within Euro squads go, aged 32. Seven years ago, Sommer was still contracted to Switzerland's finest footballing talent factory of Basel, but that summer, the summer of 2014, would herald pastures new. Fairly short for a goalkeeper, at around 183cm or 6 feet tall, Sommer was Switzerland's deputy at the 2014 World Cup, playing second fiddle to the considerably taller Diego Benaglio, who was starring in the Bundesliga at the time. Sommer soon joined him, putting pen to paper, on a deal to join his current club Borussia Mönchengladbach as a replacement for the departing Mark andre to stake. So, this time seven years ago, Sommer had already agreed to join Gladbach, but he was still technically contracted to Basel. Turkey. Barak Yilmaz, Galatasaray. The second oldest forward at Euro 2020, Barak Yilmaz, is Turkey's oldest player at Euro 2020, but he might just prove to be their most important as well. Coming into this tournament off the back of a brilliant season at Lille, where he won an unlikely league and title, the Renaissance man bagged 18 goals in just 33 games. Yilmaz has spent virtually his entire career playing at home in Turkey, with the exception of last season and a single season in China a couple of years ago. Seven years ago, he was midway through a six-year stint at Galatasaray, where he scored 82 goals in 141 games. Wales Wayne Hennessy, Crystal Palace. At the age of 34, Wayne Hennessy is the oldest man in the Wales squad, but as we know all too well, he is not old enough to remember World War II. Among the tallest men at Euro 2020, Hennessy stands at a mighty 6 foot 6 inches tall, and if Wales can progress from the group stage, he may well hit 100 caps at the finals itself. Six years ago, Hennessy had just finished his first half-season at Crystal Palace, having arrived at Selhurst Park from Wolverhampton Wanderers in January 2014. He hasn't been first choice at Palace for the last couple of seasons, but it looks like he could well be Wales' number one for the Euros. Let's just hope that he doesn't try to get anyone's attention. Belgium. Thomas Vermaelen, Arsenal. 
The oldest player in the joint oldest squad at Euro 2020, Thomas Vermaelen, is 35 years old. Born in Antwerp, made at Ajax, refined at Arsenal, absent at Barcelona, and forgotten at Vissel Kobe, Vermaelen has had an unusual career, but he does have excellent taste when it comes to automobiles. Seven years ago, Vermaelen was still contracted to Arsenal, but later that summer, he joined Barcelona for £15 million sterling. Vermaelen won plenty of trophies across his four seasons at the Camp Nou, but he didn't play all that much football, hamstrung by injuries throughout much of his time at the club. Denmark, Kasper Schmeichel, Leicester City. The two oldest players in the Denmark squad are both goalkeepers, namely Kasper Schmeichel and Jonas Lussel. Schmeichel is two years older than Lussel, he has won 64 caps more, and avoiding any injury concerns, he will be Denmark's first choice at the finals. Schmeichel joined Leicester City a decade ago this month from Leeds United for £1.5 million. So, seven years ago, he was still at the King Power Stadium. He will have to keep playing for probably another two Euros, until he is at least 40 years old, if he wishes to exceed his father's record of 129 caps for the Danish national team. Finland. Tim Spav, Greuter Furt. One of nine teams captained by their oldest player at Euro 2020, which is what, about, well, over 37% of all the teams at the tournament, so it really isn't that remarkable of a statistic. Not even sure why I mentioned it, to be honest. Anyhow, big Finnish defence midfielder Tim Spav is Finland's oldest player at the age of 34, and some of you may be aware that he actually came through the youth ranks at Southampton. That was a lot more than seven years ago now, though, and the Swedish-speaking Finn was actually contracted to Greuter Furt in Germany's second Bundesliga seven years ago. He spent just a single season with the club, and later that same summer, he signed for his current club, Michelin, where he has since won a trio of Danish Superliga titles. Russia. Yuri Zhirkov. Dinamo Moscow. Another man with experience playing in England, Chelsea signed a couple of Russians during Roman Abramovich's early years at the bridge, leading some to suspect whether that directive was coming from above. In the case of Zhirkov, it must be said that he had impressed for Russia, most notably at Euro 2008, and at club level with CSK Moscow. First capped in 2005, Zhirkov has won 104 caps for Russia in total, and he has played his club football for Zenit St. Petersburg since 2016. Back in 2014, so seven years ago, Zhirkov was starring for Dinamo Moscow, where he made 67 appearances in three seasons. Austria. Andreas Ulmer. Red Bull Salzburg. Austria's most high-profile player, David Alaba, has spent the vast majority of his career playing as a left-back, but he has often played in midfield or out wide for Austria. In his place, at left-back, Andreas Ulmer has won 24 caps since 2009, which is only actually an average of around two caps a year over that period. Contracted to Red Bull Salzburg since 2009, naturally, that is where Ulmer was seven years ago and he is rapidly closing in on 500 appearances for the franchise. Netherlands. Martin Stecklenburg. Fulham. When I set you the challenge of naming the oldest player at Euro 2020 in the introduction, give yourselves a massive pat on the back if you said Martin Stecklenburg, who takes that crown, aged 14,145 days old, or 38.75 years. Or, you know, just nearly 39, as actual human beings might put it. First capped by the Netherlands all the way back in 2004, as an understudy to Edwin van der Sar, Stecklenburg hasn't quite lived up to the standard set by his predecessor, but he has still had a very respectable career. The 6 foot 6 inch shot stopper came through the youth ranks at Ajax before moves to Roma, Fulham, Everton, and then a return to Ajax. Capped 59 times by the Netherlands, Stecklenburg was contracted to Fulham seven years ago, but later that same summer, he agreed to join league and runners-up Monaco on a season-long loan. North Macedonia. Goran Pandev. Napoli. Another oldest player who is also his national team's captain, Goran Pandev is the oldest forward at Euro 2020, aged 37. A brilliant footballer, if a little temperamental at certain stages of his career, Pandev has long been underrated due to the fact that he doesn't score a tremendous amount of goals. 
Pandev's spell with his current club Genoa is actually the longest of his career, having been there since 2015, but he did very briefly have a stint at another club between his time at Napoli and Genoa. Pandev spent a single season, where he made just four league appearances, with Galatasaray during the 2014-15 campaign. Having represented North Macedonia continuously since 2001, Pandev has played in the majority of games since the national team was founded. Ukraine Andriy Piatov Shakhtar Donetsk Capped 97 times by Ukraine, it is hard to remember a time in which Andriy Piatov wasn't playing international football. A 10-time Ukrainian Premier League title winner, Piatov joined Shakhtar Donetsk during the same year in which he made his Ukrainian debut, 2007. At the age of 36, Piatov is the same age as Tetris, which was also launched in 1984. Well, I suppose Piatov wasn't necessarily launched. Well, <laughs> launched out of his mother's... No, well, we won't go there. Moving swiftly on. Croatia. Luka Modric, Real Madrid. Quite possibly the greatest Croatian footballer of all time, Luka Modric is the national team's most capped player of all time, having won a whopping 138 caps since making his international debut all the way back in 2006. That makes him the second most capped player at this summer's finals, trailing only his former Real Madrid teammate Cristiano Ronaldo. Modric joined Real Madrid in the summer of 2012, following a prolonged transfer battle with Daniel Levy and Tottenham, before Los Blancos finally got their man for a fee of £30 million. That has proved to be one hell of a bargain, and ever since his difficult debut campaign at the Bernabeu, Modric has been nothing short of outstanding. Czechia, Tomasz Vatsli, Basel. As with Croatia, the Czech Republic's oldest player is also among their finest. You could argue that two of Czechia's strongest players are both actually goalkeepers, namely Tomasz Vatsli and Yuri Pavlenka. Neither of them have actually won all that many caps for the Czech Republic, because Petr Cech was the nation's number one up until 2016 and is one of the country's greatest ever players, having amassed 124 caps. Vatsli has won 37 caps to date, age 32, but that's practically a baby in goalkeeping terms. Currently contracted to Sevilla, he was starring for Basel seven years ago, having just joined the Swiss outfit from Sparta Prague in May of 2014. England Cal Walker, Tottenham Hotspur. It's bizarre to think that Cal Walker is the oldest player in England's Euro 2020 squad, partly because he's just not that old, but also because it seems like only yesterday that he was part of England's contingent of young up-and-coming players. Walker is 31 now, which makes him the youngest, oldest player in any Euro 2020 squad, if that makes sense. In terms of caps, only Jordan Henderson has won more in this current England squad, though Harry Kane is just one behind, with Walker having won 55 caps to date. Walker joined Tottenham from his boyhood club Sheffield United as a teenager, and he stayed with the North Londoners until 2017, when Man City made him one of the most expensive fullbacks in the entire history of the sport. Scotland. David Marshall, Cardiff City. Scotland's hero in Euro 2020 qualifying, David Marshall, has had an intermittent international career, but he seems to have nailed down the number one spot since Alan McGregor's retirement from international football back in 2018. First capped in 2004, while still playing for Celtic, Marshall has won 44 caps in total, now aged 36. Seven years ago, he was starring for Cardiff City, and he had actually just been relegated. Marshall later joined the greatest club on the face of the earth, where he was also relegated from the Premier League. Having joined Wigan Athletic in 2019, Marshall subsequently signed for his current club, Derby County, in the summer of 2020. Poland. Lukas Fabianski. Arsenal. It's goalkeeper central at the moment, as Tomasz Watzli, David Marshall, Lukas Fabianski and Cal Walker feature in quick succession. Fabianski, would you believe it, was still contracted to Arsenal seven years ago, but later that summer, he joined Swansea City on a free transfer. Fabianski turned out to be an excellent signing for the Swans, looking much more assured than during his time at Arsenal, and showing the importance of confidence and of a regular starting berth when it comes to goalkeeping. 
He left when the Welshmen were relegated in 2018, joining West Ham for £7 million. And, in my humble opinion, he has been just as impressive in East London. Slovakia. Dusan Kuciak, Legia Warsaw. Another goalkeeper, Dusan Kuciak makes it two former Hull City players in the space of just three inclusions. But I am afraid to say, he is your last. Capped just 14 times by Slovakia, despite making his senior international debut all the way back in 2006, Kuciak will continue to play second fiddle to Martin Dubravka at Euro 2020. Seven years ago, he was still playing for Legia Warsaw and was yet to experience the joy of life in East Yorkshire. He spent only a single season at the KCOM Stadium, where he made just one appearance in a 3-1 win against Exeter City in the EFL Cup. Spain, Sergio Busquets, Barcelona. The absence of Sergio Ramos means that it is another Sergio who takes the crown as Spain's oldest and most capped player. Like Ramos, Busquets has spent many years with one of the El Clasico giants, having come through the youth ranks at FC Barcelona. Parachuted into the first team from Barca B by his old boss Pep Guardiola, Busquets was an instant sensation. So intelligent, he was the perfect pivot in one of the most talented sides ever assembled, and he clearly misses having the likes of Andres Iniesta and Xavi Hernandez surrounding him at both club and international level. In fairness, who wouldn't? Aged 32, Busquets has won a whopping 123 caps for Spain, which is pretty remarkable when one thinks of his age and of the competition he has had for a starting berth in midfield over the years. Sweden. Andreas Gronqvist. Krasnodar. I told you that you weren't getting any more Exol City players, but it was mighty close. Sebastian Larsson and Andreas Gronqvist are both 36 years old, but Gronqvist is around two months older than the former Premier League set-piece specialist. Sweden's unlikely star man at the 2018 World Cup, when he was put on penalty duties, Grankvist also previously played in the Premier League, albeit only very briefly, with Wigan Athletic. Capped 88 times by Sweden, the veteran Man Mountain was playing for Krasnodar back in 2014, before returning to Sweden with Helsingborg in the summer of 2018. France, Steve Mandanda, Marseille. Born in Zaire, Steve Mandanda is part of a large footballing family. Having moved to France at the age of only two, Mandanda made 17 appearances for France's under-21 team, before making his senior debut in 2008. Throughout virtually all of that time, Mandanda has played second fiddle to Hugo Lloris, restricting him to just 34 caps. He may well be France's third choice now, given the fine form of Mike Minion, but he still has a great chance of adding a Euros to his World Cup. Mandanda joined Marseille initially in 2008, spending eight years at the club before joining Crystal Palace, where he spent a single unsuccessful season before returning to the south of France in 2017. Germany. Manuel Neuer, Bayern Munich. Manuel Neuer celebrates a decade at Bayern Munich this summer, which, obviously, means that he was starring in Bavaria seven years ago. You may recall, in fact, that Neuer was lifting the World Cup with Germany seven years ago, and was probably at the peak of his powers for both club and country. He is still an outstanding goalkeeper now, age 35, and he has won exactly a century of caps for Germany at the time of recording at least. Hungary. Adam Bogdan, Bolton Wanderers. Hungary love an old goalkeeper, though Adam Bogdan doesn't have a patch on the nation's golden oldie of 2016, Gabor Karai, both in terms of his age and his attire. Bogdan is only 33, which, again, isn't all that old in goalkeeping terms. He spent eight whole years at Bolton Wanderers, albeit only a few as the club's number one, before an eyebrow-raising move to Liverpool. In four years contracted to the Reds, during which time the club won the Champions League, Bogdan made a grand total of six appearances. He now plays for Ferenc Baros, and he'll be watching on as Peter Galacci's deputy, another former Liverpool player, and another former Hull City loanee no less. Portugal. Pepe. Real Madrid. Well, I made you wait for it, but when I asked you to speculate as to the oldest goalkeeper and the oldest outfield player in the introduction, I think guessing Martin Stecklenburg could fairly be described as a pretty tough task. I'm not suggesting that 
everyone ought to have guessed Pepe as the oldest outfield player, still quite difficult, just that he was a bit more guessable. Not much younger than Stecklenburg, Pepe is also 38 years old, but he could still play a major role for Portugal at Euro 2020. Born in Brazil, Pepe became a naturalised Portuguese citizen and won his first cap for Portugal in 2007, and he has since won 115 caps for his adopted home country. Has there ever been a player who has won more caps for a country that they weren't actually born in? Uh, yes, actually, there has. Uh, Miroslav Klose was born in Poland, but won 137 caps for Germany, so uh, yeah, that's just one, and he also became the country's all-time leading goal scorer. Ah, Alright then, uh, Pepe played for Real Madrid from 2007 to 2017, which includes 2014, so that is where he was seven years ago. That is it for today's video, but I thank you all as ever for watching, I thoroughly hope you enjoyed it. If that was the case, why not consider hitting the like button, and if you don't already, making sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for HITC Sense. Uh, also, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments, and you can find me on Twitter, or Instagram via the username at HITC7s on both, should you feel so inclined.